Hey, Jerry, how's it going? Hi, Alex. I understand you got some new stuff here from Keith Lee. Why don't you tell us about it? Absolutely. This is our model DMM 7510. It is a new meter we are introducing uh, in the uh, world of digital multimeters. It's actually a new class of meter, what we're calling a graphical sampling meter. So in addition to building in your typical DCV, DCI types of functions, we're also building in digitizing now into uh, a, a digital multimeter. Well, that's very nice. Yeah, so here's the, the, uh, the front uh, picture of the unit. You can see it's a seven and a half digit DMM, so uh, we're actually monitoring a short here. So you see, you know, uh, readings down into the nanovolts here. Oh, there's your, there's your, 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 let me see the sample that you're using. This is the sample here? Actually, we have a short. Oh, you got a short in the, in the back. In the Let back. me take a look. Yeah, so it's a. Okay, yeah, I see the little block. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it has front and rear connections on there. And right now we're doing a uh, DC voltage on, on that short. Excellent. Now, what are some of the features of the actual, uh, you mentioned it has a touch screen. Can you show us some of the touch screen features? Absolutely. So, <clears throat> touch screen. So, simply, some common things you'd want to do in the world of uh, DC volts, maybe change the range. Here we go. Go in and, and change the range if you'd like. You can auto. Very simple to adjust there. Now, we uh, split the screen into your uh, measurement on the top. We list what you're doing there, DC voltage. We also list um, some of the typical indicators. Here is showing your input impedance, that you're doing an auto zero. Um, also, this bottom half of the screen is a swipe screen. So you actually can now swipe and go through different DCV settings. You can swipe again, look at statistics on this measurement. Swipe again. If you're doing secondary measurements, this is where that would appear. You could, uh, user can actually program if you wanted to state something here that he, you know, this is doing the input on transistor number six or something like that. He can uh, program some text to appear here. Uh, and then, <clears throat> this is probably a graph that people will uh, usually want uh, on here, but this is showing a <clears throat> trend of that measurement. Nice, nice. What other, what other uh, graphing and display functionalities does it offer? Awesome. So, um, Couple of things. Sometimes people may not want to see this clutter, so we actually you can actually swipe down on this and get it to be just one large number if that's uh, if that's what they want, right? Um, so let me swipe this back up here. Let's grab this, swipe it back up. Um, also, it does indicate here. So this is running in lo uh, local mode. It shows a uh, kind of like a fill-in bar type of display in terms of your uh, reading buffer. This is showing that we barely have anything used in our reading buffer and that it's uh, operating continu continuous. So if we wanted to switch to some other triggering modes, we can, uh, we, can, uh, we can do that. Excellent, Jerry. What about some of the other functionalities? All right, so let's, uh, let's swap back here. So um, again, so you have DCI, Two wire, four wire. You know, if your traditional AC uh, setups, frequency, temperature, period, capacitance. So that your typical full blown feature set of uh, of DMMs. Mm -hmm. uh, now you'd mentioned something about a waveform capacity in this. Yeah, absolutely. So let's. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, demonstrate that for you right now. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a signal source from my iPhone here mm -hmm. and run it into the uh, into the DMM just to show you uh, what it can capture here. So this is uh, simply a microphone uh, set that um, I can now hook up into my phone here. So I'm, what I'm going to do here is switch into the front jacks. So that's what that's indicating now. So now my signal source is coming in uh, through here. And what we've actually designed in this thing, this is it's an icon based design. So if you want to go to the menu screen here, <clears throat> it has a variety of different things. So if you wanted to switch to graphs, you can quickly push that and jump to the graph. Um, different measurement settings, screens, triggering, uh, system, things like that. So what we've actually designed in this thing is um, a way to product demo this. All right. So what it's doing here is I'm going to attach what I'm calling the microphone graph demo. 
going to go ahead and run that. Let me go ahead and turn on my source here. And turn that on now. And <clears throat> so now I'm using the digitizer in the DMM. Right, this is a one mega sample per second, 18 bit digitizer, and generating a sine wave with this application. All right, so let's and let's just run it through its paces here. So let's go up and change the frequency. So now I'm running at 500 hertz, as you can clearly see on there. Also, <coughs> uh, let's run it at, switch it now to like a kilohertz. You can clearly uh, see that on the on the DMM. Can't see this on traditional DMMs. You're only going to be able to do this when you have a digitizer built into the uh, the DMM. Got it. Uh, let's switch to a different waveform. So let's. So now I'm putting in a, um, a stepped triangle type of waveform here. And so here is where a lot of the power comes in. Let's say someone sees a signal that doesn't quite look right. What we can do here, let's hit stop. Now let's go and I want to kind of take a look at some of this stuff. And now you can just simply pinch and zoom. Nice. And go in and uh, and look at your signal now. All right. On again on the DMM. Now to help simpl simplify this a little bit, uh, this again is a bottom swipe screen that we have that gives you some statistics on your reading buffer. Uh, but also you can go in and set cursors. So let's say I wanted to see. You know what is uh, the delta of, um, let's say from from these couple of periods. So you can do that by just dragging that over, and then it tells you what your delta uh, time is there in terms of 154 microseconds is what it's showing there. Uh, if you wanted to go over to look at horizontal cursors, or let's say I wanted to know what's the voltage level from here to maybe back here. It'll tell you that, and that's showing that it's at 4.7 millivolts. So a lot of built-in feature sets to uh, help you explore your signals at the front panel of the DMM versus bringing all this data into a PC and, and using some, some type of software to, uh, to analyze, uh, analyze your signals. Very nice, Jerry. All right. All right, Alex. So the, uh, the other thing we have built in here from a, a product perspective is triggering. So people want to, for example, do a level trigger. So they want to capture their transients after a certain uh, voltage level, let's say. Mm -hmm. So they want to adjust it to, say, 5 volts. And when that event happens, it's now able to, to, to capture their transient. Right. So we have a uh, demonstration here where we're going to show you some of the powerful triggering that we have here. So I'm going to go into product demo, hit edge trigger. And um, what we're doing here now is we, we're capturing data. So we're running this one mega sample per second digitizer, and it's waiting on a certain event to happen. And the event that we have set in here is a certain voltage level uh, for the uh, signal to be captured in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust the volume of that signal. So I'm going to adjust it up and up, as you can see it's happening. And boom, now it hit that <clears throat> voltage level that we programmed in here. And that's indicated by the little diamond here, uh, triangle. The green triangle here is indicating this is when the trigger event happened. And you're able to see pre-trigger data and post-trigger data. So nice. now if you want to go in and look at that waveform and let's see exactly what happened, you can kind of pinch and zoom into that area. And now you can actually go in and, and see, your, um, see your data. All right? Nice. So again, it has um, both edge triggers, uh, pulse trigger windows, uh, so it has a, a very um, a very deep set of triggering capabilities to to capture uh, waveforms and and transient events that uh, uh, customers want to capture. Well, and that's really important nowadays because the events are so quick and the power levels are so low, and it, you really have to stay on top of all of that Absolutely. nowadays. Absolutely. Excellent. Well, hey, Jerry, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us here today. And I really appreciate you showing us this new device. It is very awesome. cool. Thank you, Alex. Hey, have a great one now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.